So we are going to now, I'm now going to give a presentation not knowing any of the slides that are in this slideshow. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Toilet Tea Paper. I have 3 million TikTok followers. I have 176 Instagram followers. I've got 19.7 YouTube followers, subscribers. I've got 394 Twitch followers. I know a thing or two about using social media. And now I am going to pass my incredible knowledge on to you. How much is this gonna cost you? Nothing. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. Why? Because I'm generous. Because I'm generous. Ladies and gentlemen, social media can be tricky. It really can be tricky. And so I would like to lay a little bit of a ground rules about social media. When you're on social media, you got to have a purpose. You got to have a point and you got to have this. You got to have a willing to get shit on <laughs> because that is what the internet is all about. People, if you go on the internet, people are going to shit on you. Much like this bird on this statue. But here's what I want you to notice. See this statue right here? Does he care that the bird is shitting on him? No, he doesn't. He doesn't care. And that's the kind of attitude you need to have if you go into social media. You're going to get crap on you. But you're just going to have to not care. You're just going to have to stand there holding the collar of your jacket and staring off into the middle distance. Now, I've already talked about the three things you need. You need a purpose, you need a point, and you need to be getting shit on. Let's talk about your purpose. Friends, when you go on social media, you don't just randomly post things. No, you got to think about it. And I'll tell you, when you think about it, there's one thing you have to keep in mind. Which one of these are you? Because you're going to be a clown on the internet. Are you going to be a, the type of clown that promotes hamburgers to children? Are you going to be a crow, crow fan from a movie starring Jason Lee that a lot of people don't remember because it was a million years ago? Or are you going to be the type of clown that wakes up in the middle of the night and slaughters a family of five in their sleep. Before you get on the internet, you need to decide which one of these you are. Promotional clown? Nostalgic clown? Murderous clown? Which one? Which one are you going to be? That's right, natural born documentarian. Purpose, point, pooper. Now, let me tell you, if you're going to be the kind of promotional clown, like in this first image here, there's one tool you need in your tool belt. A list of important words. And these are the important words you need to know. Potato. Synergy. Fructose. Sneeze. Refrigerate. And Bitcoin. All right, hey, I'm going to go slow so you can write these down. Potato. What do potatoes have? They have ears. You need to have your ears open at all time when you are on the internet. Synergy. Synergy. You know what that is? That's hopping on trends. Like the other day, everyone was just posting one word, all lowercase. You need to get on that. That is synergy. Fructose. You need to be sweet on the internet, especially if you're on Twitter. People are often sour on the internet. You need to be sweet. You need to be sweet on the internet if you want to get people to listen to you. Sneeze. Sneeze. You got to get, you got to spray your message like a sneeze from an old man in a coffee shop. You know the kind of old man who's sitting there reading the paper and then he sneezes without covering his mouth? That's how you need to get your message out. Sneeze. Refrigerate. You got to know when to cool things down. You got to know when your, your, your internet message is getting too hot and you got to cool things down. You know what I'm saying? 
Sometimes you put it in the freezer, you let it cool off, you take it out, it's perfect. Ready for eating. And finally, Bitcoin. I don't have to say anything else about Bitcoin. We all know about the importance of Bitcoin, don't we, bros? We do. So, once again, for your purpose, potato, synergy, fructose, sneeze, refrigerate Bitcoin. That brings us to point two. Point two is the point. What is your point? Well, I'll tell you what my point is. My point is a Mormon dating, a Mormon speed dating, a Mormon speed dating. That is my point. Mormon speed dating. That is where one lucky guy gets to move around the room and meet four girls at a time to possibly marry them and, uh, and uh, live a happily life. In, in sweet, sweet Mormon love. I apologize to any Mormons out there. But that's not my only point. See, that's the thing. On the internet, you got to diversify. So my first, my first point in my social media use is Mormon speed dating. But my second point, and you're going to love this. This is probably the most important point. Stick your head between your legs and stick your tongue out at the beast behind you. Listen, we all have, we all have a beast that walks behind us. You know what I mean? My beast tonight is the failure of my eBay concept that I thought would work, yet having come, in, come up with it 45 minutes before I went on the air. That is the beast that is behind me. But if you want to be on social media, you need to stick your head between your legs and stick your tongue out at the scary monster that's probably a Republican that's standing behind you. I'm just saying, because it's the internet. It's just the internet. Now, that brings us to poop. The internet's a horrible place. I've already talked about you're going to get pooped on a lot. But here's something else that might happen to you. You might have to read boring quotes from old people who you have no idea if they existed or not. Take Jebediah O. Henry, for instance. Jebediah O. Henry fought in the first Civil War. I say first because the second is just around the corner. Jebediah O. Henry, he fought for the South. He was the oldest living Civil War veteran. He lived up in the mountains of a southern state, which I will not name right now in fear of insulting them. A team of documentary reporters went to him in the 70s. They tracked him down and they said, Jebediah O. Henry, can you tell us something and then give a rebel yell? What Jebediah O. Henry said was, that's the problem with kids these days. They don't eat enough dirt. And then he gave a rebel yell and then he died. That recording is available at the Smithsonian. You can go get that. Okay? But the point is, that's just a little, that was a little side tangent. A tangent uh, about Jebediah O. Henry. The point is, the internet is filled with dumb quotes like this. And you don't know if this is true or not. I could have, I could have totally just made up that entire Jebediah O. Henry story. I didn't, but I could have. And that's what you got to contend with. But listen, I don't want I don't want it to be like it's all it's all downhill, right? It's all problems on the internet. There's actually a lot of good stuff about using social media. One of my absolute favorite things about using social media is when people photoshop modern day things into old pictures. Now this woman who was the original subject of this painting she had no idea what KFC was, but now she does. And that's, that's the wonderful thing. That's the wonderful thing about the internet. If we didn't have the internet, you would not see this picture. You know what I mean? Like somebody would have Photoshop, somebody would take this picture, and then he, would show his fa he or she would show his family and friends, but you'd never see it. But thanks, DK Fuel, you're killing me. You, thanks to, 
the internet, we could see things like this. But that's not all. The other plus side about using social media, and I don't even, yeah, I can, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because I bet you probably know what's on the next slide. I mean, it's so obvious. It's so obvious what the next great thing about doing social media, you know what? I'll just tell you. There's lots of books on dummies because there's a lot of dummies out there. But luckily, there are books for dummies that will show you how to do anything. Boosting your self-esteem. Breeding dogs. Oh my God, if you do not know how to breed dogs, you just take a boy dog and a girl dog and you leave them alone. Cosmetic surgery for dummies. You want to open up your own practice? You got it. You want to open up your own kennel? You got it. I need this first one, actually, really, for tonight. I need this first one. But what I'm saying is, there's a lot of dummies out there, but there's a lot of books. So don't ever feel like you're trapped. Books for dummies are sort of like the YouTube of the real world. You want to know how to do something? You can do that. Hi, me, 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 1997. Now, it's my in summation, ladies and gentlemen. We've talked about point. We've talked about purpose. We've talked about poop. I, if I could leave you, if I could leave you with one important message about using social media, it would be this. Your baby. Your baby and the internet is feeding you. And it's your job to choke down whatever the internet feeds you. The big hand of the internet is scooping up a big pile of green sludge. And you're going to have little watery eyes. You look, you're going to look like you're about to start crying. But you know what you got to do? You want to use social media. You got to open your mouth. You got to take that big old spoonful of green sludge into your mouth. You got to slurp it down. You got to swallow it. Swallowing's important. Swallow. And then you put a smile on your face and you say, please, social media, may I have another? Thank you for coming to my talk on how to use social media. Any questions? If there's any questions, I will now answer them in the chat. If there's any questions, I will now answer them in the chat. Thank you, Jukesters. Thank you. How do they do it? Volume. That's how they do it. Brenda Fabulous, you're welcome. You're welcome. You make it sound so yummy. Bowl of green sludge. Mm-hmm. Does Lufa swallow? I'm sure he does. I don't even want to ask him. That was not my baby picture. Can you start over? I missed it. Sure. Hold on.